So I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes two months before my high school graduation. While I was in college, I became very interested in medical research and eventually decided to um, do an MD-PhD program specializing in immunology. So then I started looking at all the different programs around the country and looking for ones specifically that were very strong in immunology. And one of the um, um, best ones that came up was the University of Washington in large part because of the research done at Benaroya Research Institute. So my first introduction to BRI was actually not as a clinical trial participant, but as a student in Dr. Nepom's lab um, for my first research rotation. And during that rotation, um, I started hearing about all these amazing clinical trials they were doing in type 1 diabetes, and that, in fact, they would pay me to give a blood sample, which on a grad student stipend is pretty nice. <laughs> um, so uh, I've done a number of trials um, at BRI, but the most exciting one for me is the artificial pancreas system. Um, the artificial pancreas system, or APS, is made up of an insulin pump like the one I wear every day, which is number four in that picture, um, as well as a small sensor that checks my blood sugar, so that's one and two. Um, and that sensor sends the blood sugar to the computer that houses the brains of the system, which is number three. Uh, so that computer uh, takes in the blood sugar number it gets from the sensor, um, looks at the trends of what my blood sugars have been doing over time and decides how much insulin I need and then tells the pump to deliver that insulin all without me doing anything. And normally those are decisions that I have to make on a minute by minute basis. Uh, so the first trial I did on the APS three years ago, the computer was um, a laptop as shown here. And so I was tethered to a bed for 28 hours, um, not allowed to move, really do anything. Um, but in just three short years, the, uh, the system is now run by a tablet, which I can wear in a backpack. Um, so I can move all around the clinical research center, um, exercise if I want, do whatever I want, and eat whatever I choose to. Um, and the next phase, hopefully within the next year or so, um, we'll actually get to leave the research center, go out into the world, and the whole system will be controlled by a smartphone, which you know, I have with me all the time anyway. Um, so although I think like anyone with type 1, I cannot wait until the day that we have a cure, um, I love that in the meantime, um, there are things like the artificial pancreas system that um, allow me to live my life normally and will keep me healthy until the day that we do have that cure.